What's up, y'all? It is March 1st, and I haven't even sniffed a pizza, not even one whiff, for the entire month of February. I've kind of put myself up to a little challenge, a little personal experiment, and um, I didn't eat pizza for the whole month of February. It's my favorite food, and I just wanted to see how it would be to not eat something that I really love. So I made it through the month, and this is the first pizza I'm going to be eating in 28 days. I picked the shortest month, of course. I got just a regular pepperoni pizza from a place, a local spot that I really like. Um, so I know it's going to be good. And I'm also going to be spicing this video up a little bit more, eating it with some ranch. I don't think I've had pizza with real ranch dressing since potentially maybe middle school. So that should be interesting. But first, I'm just going to be trying out this pizza plain because I honestly forgot what it's like to eat pizza a little bit which sounds kind of insane, but it's it's true. It's it's funny how easily you can get used to something or unused to something, at least uh, for me in this case. So let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm smelling it, I'm looking at it. It almost seems like too cheesy, like too much cheese. Like that sounds crazy to say. But it seems like a little bit OTT on the cheese, man. And greasy. Like, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I know this is going to be mighty fine. I'm, well, I'm pretty damn sure. I'm going to absolutely enjoy this. But I just I haven't really eaten anything like this. There's nothing like pizza, man. There is nothing like it. So uh, let me just show you what we're working with real quick. I say this was 19 bucks. Pretty good deal. Plain pepperoni. Here is the bottom. And a lot of cheese. Oh, it's hot and fresh. Have this up here for later. Let me actually see if I can get a cheese pool. Okay. This might burn my mouth, but we're going in. Should I wait? I'll tell you what, the wind's blowing something fierce, man. We're going in. I don't care. Wow. I'll be honest, I don't have any crazy reaction planned. I don't, I was thinking about doing the Mark Williams there, like the, the head to the side, but I just, it didn't, that feeling didn't come over me in the moment. Shout out Mark Williams, love that guy. Um, anyway, all I can say is wow, for right now. And let me take another bite, man. Let me take another slice, actually. It's hot, real hot, fresh out the oven. I'll tell you, I'm getting flavors that I don't think I would have picked up if I would, if I was eating pizza regularly. Like I used to eat pizza probably, probably for the last 10 years or more. I've been eating it like twice a week, average. Which I know is probably too much, but whatever. It's like a hundred pizzas a year. But no, um, I'm really tasting, like no joke, the individual components of this pizza, which usually, usually when I eat a pizza, I just think, oh, it's pizza. Which I kind of thought that's how I would react to eating this pizza. It's like, oh, pizza, there it is. But I swear, the first couple bites, I was tasting just an explosion of flavor from the sauce and then the cheese and the pepperoni. 
and the crust. I mean, that's that's all the ingredients on this, but I think I did mention this in the last video. I haven't had tomato sauce in the last month either. That was on accident. Didn't plan it. Um, I've always, I've obviously had bread. I've had cheese. I don't know if I've had a lot, a ton of mozz. Certainly not this much. The, the amount of mozzarella cheese on this pizza right here is definitely more than all the mozz I've had in the past month for sure. I did have one Italian BMT, which I believe has pepperonis on it, so. I did eat a couple of pepperonis, but yeah, it's like, wow, this is, this is wild. Let me eat one more slice and then we'll start eating it with the ranch. I'm starting to settle in here a bit. And now I'm just tasting it like I'm just back in the groove. Now I'm just eating pizza, you know? So uh, I try to live my life on that, uh, I cannot tell a lie, you know what I mean? So I can't lie. My mind isn't like completely blown. I've been, my mind's been blown by other foods more than eating this. Obviously some a food I've had a million times, but I've never, you know, not eaten pizza for a month before. So I kind of was expecting my, like my mind to get blasted, but it's not, it's just, it is very interesting though. And the process of going through that month without eating pizza, it was, I'll be honest, it was easier than I thought it would be. There were a couple moments when it was actually quite tough. <clears throat> a couple times I thought I needed it once or twice, late at night, you know, those nights. But uh got through and then I could probably easily go another week or two without it. Damn. That's just... Mm. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? Ranch on pizza. It's like, do you need it? Nah, but would I take it? Shit, I'll take it, man. And that's just, that's real good. You're just making the unhealthy food more unhealthy, but. No, I have a theory though, about pizza. I mean, if you make it right, it can't be that unhealthy. If you don't use too much cheese, too much processed toppings. I mean, tomato sauce, that's fresh as can be. Dough, simple. Like a margarita pizza, straight from Italy. You know, share at the brick oven, a little olive oil on it. I think that's healthy, man. Changed my mind, man. Some like basil. Anyway. Yeah, so not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, to be honest with you, and I'm pretty confident that any kind of food, like prepared food like this, I'm not necessarily talking raw ingredients. Like, I think it would be hard as hell to give up, you know, salt for a month. Like, I don't even know if that's possible. Or to go, like, vegan for a month, you know, I think that'd be hard. But I think I could cut out any kind of fully prepared food, pizza, burgers, French fries, anything. So yeah, that's just a little experiment. I don't think I got any conclusive results. It was just kind of a interesting thing to do.
All right, y'all, last piece here. I got to say, look at all that grease, man. I don't know if I will go back to eating pizza as much as I used to, because now that I know that I don't need it in my diet, um, I might eat it less. I think I might actually eat it again in like two days, but after that, you know what I mean? Maybe try it like once a week. I think once a week would be pretty fair. All right, y'all, there it is, mighty fine. Still my number one favorite food. Like I said, uh, at least in the first video a month ago, I don't didn't really expect this. This is not scientific, you know, it's just kind of for fun. Um, and I just was, I didn't expect any kind of actual results and I didn't get any. It certainly wasn't a bad experience though overall and I'm glad I did that. And I would say that, you know, if you want to try doing something, cutting out something, that you really enjoy that's really not the best for you uh, for a certain amount of time. I'd say give it a go, see how it goes for you. Anyway, I'm about to skate out of here, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.